Hello. How's everyone doing today? Hopefully we're doing good today. So, um, what I'm actually going to talk about today, let's see. Oh, here it is. Okay, so what I'm actually going to talk about today is kind of the extra 10%. Um, now, in my opinion, uh, number one, there's always going to be people, you know, that definitely work for your company or work with you or your friends or whatever the case may be that are going to work, you know, like either super hard, really hard, like every single week, go crazy, or um, they pretty much just kind of do whatever they need to do to do the bare minimum. And that's then basically it. Now, in my opinion, you know, in order for anyone to be successful without obviously getting super lucky with like a lotto or anything like that, I'm sorry, I'm going to have some gummy bears, um, is working the extra 10%, okay? Now, the extra 10% means that, you know, say, I don't know, how, how would you even say, it? like, you're working out, you know, you're tired, then, you know, you have to, you know, you have to do an extra set of steps, and you know your arm's about to give out, it feels like it's about to fall off, and then you still do it, right? In my opinion, that's like almost, I guess, a good example of what the 10% is. Now, just in terms of everything, right? Let's say you do like you know a certain amount of sales or whatever the case may be, right? That's if you want to really consider the ten percent. The ten percent is actually one sale every single day, right? At two point four hours a day, at sixteen point eight hours a week. And if you really want to really kind of put that in, that's almost an that's like working Saturday and Sunday, isn't it? And that's why a lot I have a lot of respect for those who, you know, run a business and run a seven day business. I mean, I understand, you know, some people are religious or whatever the case may be, but you know, I respect people who run their business and run a seven day week. And let me just be very honest. And in my opinion, those are the type of people who are just very successful. Even if let's say you're not working, you're doing everything in your power during that Sunday or, or whatever the case may be. Right, to really figure out a plan or, or prep or whatever the case may be. I talked about preparation the other time, right? And that's just kind of the thing, right? Also, you know, talk about the extra 10%, meaning, you know, that's 10 meters, which, you know, for a 100 meter dash, I think it's a lot. 32.5 weeks. It's a lot, right? And so, again, you know, that extra mile, that extra 10%, it, it feels like a lot of it because it's the boot, definitely. But in the end goal, in my opinion, and how I see it is, if let's say, you know, I keep dropping stuff for me. I have caps and stuff, so they like get fur all over the place. Anyway, um, if you want to really put it into perspective, let's say, within your lifespan, within a certain span of time, right, you wanted to be successful, and you add in that extra 10, it's going to cut that time in half, right? So the more time you actually put in, the more dedication, the more everything, the less time you actually, in a sense, kind of spend in terms of days, right? Or how long, or how, like in terms of years or things like that. Because you're kind of, in a weird sense, shortening it down. You're cutting it down the more time you spend per day. I hope that makes any sense. Right? So... Again, you know, I, I tell I tell my office and I tell everyone here, look, Saturdays and Sundays are optional. I, I'm not forcing you to do it. I'm not, you know, going to be pissed off at you or whatever the case may be. But if I'm going to be spending a certain amount of time and dedication to certain people, I'm going to be spending it more in terms of spending it with the people who work on Saturdays and who work on Sundays. I work a seven-day week. It's my business. And it only makes sense, doesn't it? Right, so if let's say for some example, especially in my business, we when people have the opportunity to definitely you know run their own branch as well, you know you're going to be working a seven day week. So number one, I need to know that you can actually at least work six days. Yeah, maybe I may not come to the office on Sundays. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But I'm still preparing for the next week. I'm still thinking of a new plan. I'm still thinking maybe I can do this. I can do that. I can change this. How would that affect this? Let's crunch some numbers. Let's, let me write some speeches down. Let me write some meetings down. Whatever the case may be. Right? But I still run a seven-day week. 
things working in my head? If I'm always working and I'm always thinking about what can make it better, how can I make it better for my guys? How can I make it better for my employees? So it comes down to that. Right? So, then again, you know, we have like something here called a 12-month program. And putting that extra 10% of work in there is really kind of puts down the 12 months, 12 months of rent for someone like me. And then it's like six months rent. You know, and it might be, it might be an interesting job because you have to be close with your girlfriend. You have to be doing everything with the power to, or else you just stop. You're not doing anything. You're not progressing. You're not getting anywhere. It's just, it's just a block. You're just going about your day to day. You're living like everyone else. Which, in my opinion, I don't ever want to do. I don't want any of my employees to do. You know, I wish the best for all my employees. I wish that everyone would kind of work on a Fridays and really be able to work on a Sundays and work on a vacation and do stuff. Right? If that makes any sense. And in my opinion, if you work the extra 10%, it kind of makes up for the unpredictable, doesn't it? And there's always going to be something that happens. There's always, whether it's, weather, something else, tragic happens, or whatever the case may be, but that extra 10%, in my opinion, would make up for that, right, because there's always going to be something that happens to that person, and so definitely, again, the people who aren't invested, you know, all the way, you know, into your business, you can tell, like, this is a fucking garbage dude into work, and they're like, oh my god, they were doing so bad, and they make complaints, and they make excuses for not coming in, and whatever the case may be, the people who really do put in that extra 10%, or really break the 50 to 90% and 100%, you can see it. You see it fucking clearly, it's so bad. Right? And you can't ignore it either. And that's kind of, right, and for any boss, any, any kind of manager, or any CEO, or any president, you're going to be spending your time with people, in my opinion, who are going to put their all in. Because it's for your plan. Right, and that comes down to the next thing. You know, talking about excuses and talking about putting in that 90% and really kind of, you know, stopping yourself from whatever you're really doing. There's a quote, obviously, written for Wall Street. I'm sure you guys have all seen it. I think I have a lot of that movie. Oh, actually, no. That's, I'm not gonna. Oh, I wrote it. I don't know where I put it. I put it down somewhere. So, anyways, I have another one which I really like as well. But we can talk about that later. Oh, sorry, no quote from Kurt to you for today, honestly. That's probably on my phone, but I'm not gonna make you guys sit here and watch it. Watch me as I go through my phone. But again, I, you know. Just in terms of everything, you know, don't make any excuses for everything, right? Everything is really going to come down to whether or not, you know, the excuse that you're going to give yourself at the end of the day. Are you going to be okay with it, right? And you guys really have to start thinking about in terms of every excuse you make every single day or every week or whatever the case may be. You're recycling. It's the same excuse. It's too cold to do this today. Well, it's going to be too hot in the summertime now. Ah, it's too rainy. It's it's too much grass and you know leaves on the floor. It's too much pollen outside. I mean, you know what I mean. So again, let's not make any excuses for everything. Let's really give it our ten percent. And I swear to God, I swear, I swear to you, things will change in your life. There will be a lot of shifts and progressions people will notice, and your boss is gonna definitely notice as well. Right, because. He's a smart guy. Have a good one.